Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name's Helen. If you're new here, nice to meet you. And if you already know me already, well, let's just jump into the video, shall we? <laughs> Disclaimer. I started making a vlog for you uh, last Wednesday, so about a week ago now, and I started filming. I basically was in the middle of like a midlife crisis day, you know, a, one of those days where you just feel like, what am I doing with my life? What should I be doing? I don't know what to do. I was feeling very overwhelmed. I'm a freelancer. I'm a freelance presenter, content creator, mentor, and some days I'm just like, oh, I would just love a nine to five so I don't have to think about what to do with my life. But of course, they are momentary. But what I did decide on that day, I was like, right, I'm gonna start vlogging, mainly as like, just a way to kind of account for what I do day to day. And like, the amazing things that I get to do with my time. I think sometimes I can forget how lucky I am to do what I do, and so I started vlogging. Now, I have a new camera, which I'm filming on right now, and, on day two of vlogging, my SD card that was in this camera had a meltdown. So everything I shot on the first day, the intro, going into starting the vlog, I lost all of that. I can't get it off the SD card. So it's now past the time that I've vlogged, if that makes sense. I think it does. But basically I'm refilming this intro and then I'm sending you off on my week last week. So I'm gonna stop like blathering on. What I do wanna say as well, it's the first time I've actually tried to vlog over a few consecutive days. Like I'm very much on stories on Instagram. I kind of go do like my day to day on stories. But a vlog I found is like so much harder to kind of genuinely capture what you're doing. So it's my first one. I will only get better so your support is so, so welcome. Um, let me know in the comments of what you think. But this was just like a really fun couple of days um, of my last week. So I hope that you enjoy it. I'm going to stop rambling. Let's get into the video. And coffees with Katie. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> this will be B-roll. B-roll vibes. What street is this? I've, ne I've never been on this street, babe. It's so cute. And there's this dog just chomping on a bone, living his best life. Anything, anything you want to share, babe? No, not today. <laughs> hey gang, so my camera has decided to pack in. It's like a brand new camera, so I'm going to have to contact Canon. It is under warranty. So I'm going to vlog on my phone for the rest of the day. And... Yeah, so you missed my, well, I got a little bit. I got a little bit of my coffee with my friend Katie. And now we're off to meet my friend Max for lunch. So let's go. This is my good friend Max. It's been like six months. It's been longer than six months. I know, baby's just on their hair. You can fit. Yeah, we're gonna go off to this like a queer event pop up at Dalston Superstore. So let's go to that. Okay, so we're sat having a little drink and we're chatting to the founders. They're called both and both and both and their little pop up here at Dalston Superstore and uh, Max is answering up questions about kind of clothing and doing their thing. I'm drinking <laughs> and I'm gonna go and get changed in the toilet because I'm so classy and head off to River Island event this evening. So yeah we're gonna have a very quick one more though before I do that and there's some like Fun people. I'm just basically eyeing everyone up. This one, obviously. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yeah, and I'm, I'm basically sat opposite the door. I've just got like the perfect spot for like eye candy. Just being horny. Being horny at everyone. This is going on my YouTube channel. Yeah, it's true. I've had a drink. I shouldn't vlog when I drink. But yeah. Having a very nice time. Okay, I got changed in the toilet, which was basically a dark room. <laughs> so, quite impressed that I managed to touch up my makeup. And I'm just gonna wait for an Uber and then go and meet my housemate, Jude, 
who's coming to the event with me tonight. So, that's that. really drunk last night and I did like this video in my kitchen where I was like yeah it was a good night like this is what I'm doing in the next few days but honestly I'm just chatting so fun it's such a good night though so good this is actually one of the t-shirts from the Dominic Pride collection you probably saw it in the video last night but yeah I love it I love 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 it do go and grab one they're in stores until like they're gonna be online I think until like September which is amazing this one says you're an icon they're only 20 quid 30% of profits go to UK black pride as well excuse me I've got so drunk I've like eaten like a mountain of toast a mountain of toast um and I'm going to get a train now uh not a train that's a lie look this is how hungover I am I'm just like what <laughs> um I'm going to get a coach now to Cardiff because tomorrow I'm going to Port Merion. I'm not going to bother shooting today. It's literally just a coach journey. And then I'm going to go for dinner with my friend. And then tomorrow we're getting up super, super early to drive up to Port Merion. I put like a picture of it here so you can like see what it is. But basically I saw it on TikTok and was like, I have to go there. And my best friend Paul lives in Cardiff in Wales. And I was like, do you fancy going? And he was like, absolutely, let's go. Oh, baby, that's my toast. That's my toes. Mummy's going to leave you for a couple of days. How do you feel about that? Just give me the toe. Okay. <laughs> Just give me the toast, Mum. I'll see you in Port Merion. I look crazy. This vlog so far is just me looking like sh <laughs> Anyway, good morning. It is, I think, just gone 6am. And I have to put this down because I've got shaky morning hands. Oh no, I'll be okay. Um, it's just gone 6am, it's Saturday, we're off to Port Merion today. I've got up, I've curled my hair a bit, because um, there's this photo that I really want to take in a dress that I've been sent by a brand called Godiva. So I'd like to get that done today. If I curled my hair this morning, I'm going to do my makeup on the way, because it's about a three and a half hour journey. So, let's go basically, I need a coffee, um, and I'll be fine. Okay guys, we are here and just grabbed a little coffee from the cafe before we make our entrance into Port Merion Village. Here, just got myself a latte because I am super tired. I curled my hair before we left and then just sort of like kept it in this like scraggy bum thing. I'm just hoping that it's still curly when I take it out because I want to get this picture in this dress in Port Merion Village today. So. Let's see if we can make that happen, fingers crossed, but I'm going to turn you around and show you this view.
All right, so I managed to get that dress shot, <laughs> which I just got changed, literally. Just got changed there. And Paul, my friend Paul just held up my coat for me so that I could have some dignity today. But um, yeah, we're gonna explore properly now. I just wanted to get here, get that shot, and actually it's just like to rain a little bit, so it's perfect timing. Um, but let's go and explore a little bit now. beautiful yeah sun's coming out a little bit dry my feet off dry my bum <laughs> sat on a wet bench earlier i'm getting a little bit hungry so i think we're gonna go and find a little calf i definitely need another coffee I'm starting to feel it in fact i think i'm getting a cold sore and that usually happens when i don't have enough sleep or if i'm feeling a bit stressed move out of the way of these people but yeah i think i'm getting a cold sore and i have no like stuff with me to sort it out so annoying but yeah it's actually getting a little bit sunny this is glorious coffee food yeah sort me out <laughs> nan to show her because she would love it here but she can't really walk that well anymore so this just isn't a good place for her because it's a lot of steps um I, it's probably wheelchair accessible but there is a lot of stuff that you want to kind of go in and go up and down the steps and it's just yeah so I showed her and apparently jules holland lives here didn't know that but she gave me that fact so thanks for that nan well i think i'm gonna i think you've seen enough of my time in port mary and i'm just showing off now um but yeah, we're going to go and check into our Airbnb, go for some dinner probably. And the sun's come out, so hopefully it'll stay nice tomorrow because we would like to go to a beach tomorrow called Black Rock Sands. It's meant to be amazing. So yeah, but it's been such a lovely day. Okay, now I said I wouldn't vlog anymore today, probably, but we're booked into this like really funny little Airbnb and I just wanted to show you because from the pictures it looks lols. So let's see what it's like. Okay. Oh my god, it's so low, Paul. I have to bend to like fit in here. <laughs> I'm just Oh my about... god, what? Mind out the way. What? What is this place? Random. Like, I have to, I actually have to bend. Wow. This is kind of claustrophobic. <laughs> but you know, it's a room for the Eve. So it took us a long time to find somewhere where our Airbnb is. We're in Port Madog in North Wales, which is just down the road from Port Merion where we were today. But every pub we went into was fully booked. And the England match is on tonight. And this is the qualifier to see if we get into the semi-finals for the Euro. So I'm like desperate to see it. It took us forever. It took us forever, that's Paul waving a bottle of Prosecco in my face. It took us forever to find somewhere that would let us see it. Anyway, we've been sat outside for about two hours and then finally the tables come available inside. So, we sat, we've ordered some food. I'm on my like fourth or fifth Prosecco here. And look at this, my view of the match tonight. I've got a 
good view of the match, very happy, and then um, come on England, it's coming home. Coffee, <sighs> much needed today. I've decided that I'm not gonna like vlog vlog today. I'll show you what we get up to. Um, I'll just do like a little compilation because this cold story is such an indicator that I'm feeling run down and I'd like to just try and switch off as much as possible before the week starts. It's Sunday today. So yeah, I'm gonna try and really relax on my last day of the weekend. So enjoy this compilation of all the beaches that we are visiting today. <laughs> 